It's Madden NFL 23, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. All that and more coming up next. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now it's gone. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So two incompletions have led them to an early third and ten. To throw is gone. This one to the sideline, he's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package. And boy, his team loves to play around him. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. 
In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. From just shy of midfield, Mahomes, blitz coming and down he goes. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down of the sack. We were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They should have gotten more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get up field with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Looking to throw again on second down. Goff looking middle, and that's complete. Finding room at midfield. Look at the big fella go. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Here's Goff. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Lions are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say? If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up. It's good. And the Lions lead 7-0. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. 
And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not... Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes, man open. That's Marquez Valdez-Scantlin. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 45-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is scooped up by the Lions. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Following the fumble recovery, Goff looking sideline incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28.
They find some open field here. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it second and seven. Now Goff. Got his. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Right now they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Mahomes now on first down. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Mahomes now to throw. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down. And they may be going backward here. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 23. That one goes for 24 yards. 
I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. First down now, run with McKinnon. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook that can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. remain for second down. Mahomes going to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Mahomes now on first down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Jarek McKinnon in a one-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing rubble. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive in total eight plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second down, it's Gibbs. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. But well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are you going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Goff on third down. Jones has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn 
find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first down, Gibbs. And yeah, this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Second and nine from the 44. Goff now looking to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. Throwing on third. Golf. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Working from the gun. Mahomes got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Mahomes. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 38-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains.
On first down, Mahomes. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes will get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. Eyes oh, brought down. Oh, remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's McKinnon on the draw. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here. So it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. second half and just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half not the way they saw it not the way they drew it up you find out this is something that you can't just edit right there's no rewrite here this is live and now they've got to find a way out of this hole so we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half they start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 
And a nice gain of 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Goff. Over the middle complete. That's Gibbs. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. On second down now, it's Gibbs. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon a running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. So nothing doing there. And that'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. Badgley able to punch this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime, Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Nifty move. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. 
They go draw play to McKinnon. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And he was brought down by big Levi Onwazurike. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second and nine, Mahomes over the middle. That's hauled in by Tony. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 20 yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. This drive has been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Final minute now of the third quarter. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second and goal, Mahomes. Touchdown! Noah Gray, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. This has definitely been a back-and-forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we've got your bats. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Butker on for the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. 
They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, golf. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Now it's gone. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Here's Gall. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun. Golf. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. and that has him staring at a third and ten. Gone. This is caught inside the 15. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he gets a big one right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. A shotgun snap for Goff. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Up the middle they go. Gibbs. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Lions answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. 
We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Mahomes now on first down. And he wisely will throw that one away. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to run it. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. play now as they come up on first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. play he's now up over that 300 yard mark and in today's NFL it almost feels routine and I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game to me 300 yards still signifies excellence and he's achieved that in this performance here we go third and one gut check time on both sides Mahomes gonna throw Man open, it's Tony, he's got it. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantlin. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. And they're going to get this down to about their 17-yard line here. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Oh. 
The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Nice. Well coached. A team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Mahomes. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Nice job defensively to hold him to four. And now it's second and goal. Mahomes to throw it. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. For the lead, here's third and goal. Mahomes. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try to steal this one away. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here's Goff and the Lions. Down 21-17, to 17, 27 seconds to go. They've got to go the full 80 yards, and they've got to do it quick as they come up on first down. Now it's Goff. And his throw here is incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Goff. He finds his man complete. That's Gibbs. And he'll have a first down here up past the 30, but he's brought down in bounds. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Goff now to throw. He's going to let it fly. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. That's pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two-minute drill when your guys are struggling to put points on the board all afternoon. There's an incompletion right there. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Goff. And in 
incomplete on the deep ball. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and he actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you plan a tip. Try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. One last throw here for Goff. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done. It's been a nice game overall.